Hi everybody, today I'm with Liesl Tepersham and we're gonna be talking about strengths and why they're so important for us to discover our strengths and be able to really thrive in our career or in our business. Uh, but first I'm gonna, I'm gonna read uh, Liesl's bio so you have a sense of her overall background and then we'll, um, we'll bring her forward. So Liesl Te uh, Tepersham helps sensitive souls and introverts build confidence. She helps them work through the blocks and fears that stop them and find and embrace their true, authentic strengths. Two of her favorite tools are EFT tapping, which I think some of you may have heard of that, and the Gallup Strengths Finder, which from what I know is the most um, researched um, methodology on strengths and, and talents. They provide a solid foundation for any introvert who wants to make a difference in the world in their unique, quiet way. Hi, Liesl. Great to have you here. Thank you so much, George. It's wonderful to be with you. Thank you. Yeah, so I will let you take over. I think you prepared some materials to share with us, so I'm excited for this. Thank you so much. So let me go and find that and share that with our listeners. Is it visible? Yes, yes. yes it is. Yeah. Looks great. Okay. Awesome. So I'd like to just start by sharing how this work started, because um, that can already give us some clues what uh, Strengths Finder can do for us. So in the 1960s, uh, there were about, I think, 10,000 sixth graders participating in a study to help researchers discover what study of um, helping them to, or what method of helping them to read fast it was going to be the best tool. So they repeated the study a few times because at first they couldn't believe the results. Because what happened is um, it didn't really actually matter what method they used to help them improve their reading speed, but what mattered was the difference between the pupils who were slow readers and fast readers. The slow readers improved overall over these few weeks of the study. They improved from about 90 words a minute to 150 words a minute. And that's already awesome. It's a 66% improvement. But what happened is the fast readers started off at about 350 words a minute, and they improved over the same length of time to 2,900 words a minute. So that really, wow. yeah, they, the researchers was not expecting this result. Uh, they thought the slower readers would get the most benefit. So that really made them sit up and say, well, we've got to do something with this information. What, what is this really telling us? So as they repeat, repeated the study again and again, they thought, well, you know, it seems that the things are already easy for us we improve in those areas much faster with much less effort and with much more joy than the things that we already are struggling with, those things that we get an F in in school, um, where we usually tell people, go, you know, try and improve that. That is such hard work and it's effort and it's quite draining for the body and brain, actually. So that's how the Strengths Finder movement started. They found that if we build on our strengths, we improve faster. It's, not, it, we, it's just a wonderful experience. So that's where it started. And now one of the principles I share with my clients as we start this work is that we are like the fish in the water with our strengths. So George, I'm going to be cheeky and ask you what comes up for you if you think about a fish in the water. What was it? What what is it about? Well, it's uh, fish in water. They um, don't think it's anything remarkable. They're just breathing and you know, kind of thriving there. And yeah, but it's hard for us, right, to to, to breathe in the water. <laughs> it's impossible. Exactly, exactly, and that is exactly what happens for us with our strings. It's almost like we. Um, the fish is swimming there in the sea or wherever they are and they see the other fishes, they see the rocks, they see the, you know, there's dives inside the water and they're aware of all those other things in the environment. But what they're not aware of is the water because the water is completely normal to them by this time. They are, the water is there all the time and that's the one thing they're not aware of. And for us, for people, it's like air. We breathe air all the time, but we don't have to think about it. It just happens. It's there. It's provided. Our lungs do the work for us. With our strengths, it's the same thing. We don't even know that we have th these strengths because we are so used to them. We think the things that come naturally and easily to us is just that thing that I do. You know, it's nothing special. 
Um, and therefore, we kind of tend to discount it. We think, oh, you know, it's just something that I, that's easy for me. Well, I believe when we find our strengths, we can make so much more of them. And it's sometimes very surprising to people to hear what their strengths are. And I also believe that we need to get paid highest for the things that are easiest for us. Because those are the things that other people struggle with. So that is something Great. I keep reminding my clients of is don't think that the things that are easy for you is nothing special. Not mm -hmm. everybody find them easy. Yes. In fact, the things that are easy for you are the most special, you know, <laughs> oftentimes. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly, George. Um, that is something that we really, really tend to forget. And in this work, it becomes very apparent when we start chatting about people's top five strings or so that um, we have unique things combined and that nicely leads us into the next little topic that I want to just mention is sometimes people are a bit resistant or they think, oh, I don't want to be put in another box. You know, here's just another thing that tells me the way I am. What I really love about Strings Finder is it helps us to understand how unique we are, not how much we are the same than other people with the same strength. And um, how I know that is we, we can either do the strengths finder for your top five or for your full 34, the, the whole complement of strengths. So if we just even talk about your top five, the chance that somebody else has your top five is one in 280,000. Wow. So that's, that's, that's really... Yeah, that's, that's unique. That really tells you that even with five strengths, you are pretty unique. It's not everybody, the next bush. There's not an, another George under the next bush. However, if you consider the possibility that somebody else has the same exact order of your top five, the chance of that goes down to one in 33.9 million. Wow. So that made me set up and think as well, wow. And then we haven't even considered all the other, the rest of the 34 strengths. We're only talking about top five. And we haven't considered your background, your history, your upbringing, your values, your spirituality, all the things that you have learned, your skills, your knowledge. That's how we need, unique we are. And Strengths Finder really brings us home. And so I love this quote of Oscar Wilde that says, be yourself because everybody else has already been taken. And Strengths Finder and the, this, you know, the, the information that it provides us about what's really unique and beautiful about ourselves um, helps to bring that home. And the next little bit that I want to mention is about the bigger picture. So I was talking about, about the top five and the full 34. Often people start out with the top five and it's brilliant because it gives us a great start and what's really amazing about us and what we are great at. And then the full 34 just gives us this bigger picture. Some people here may recognize, I don't know, do you recognize a picture? Do you know what this is? Uh, it's, I guess, a, go a golf course. Yes, exactly. So working with our full 34 gives us the same sort of ideas as knowing what's happening on a golf course. We know we've got to aim, aim the ball to the pin. That's like our goals in life. We want to get to the pin, but we want to get there the shortest, easiest and most enjoyable way. So that's like aiming down the fairway. And our top 10 to 12 strings in that list of 34 is like going down the fairway. It's the easiest, straightest way, most enjoyable. We love it. It's like, oh, yes, I can do this. I'm getting there and it's in the least amount of strokes. Just a little bit outside of that is the rough. When our ball lands there, we go, oh, no, this is not so nice. But, okay, I can choose a different club or, you know, a, a longer one or a, a one that goes with a more curve or we can take a different approach or hit past this tree and then past that tree. So it's about choice. There we choose what, 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 what we're going to do now. And that's what the next lot of our strengths is, the, the sort of middle lot between about 12 and 29 or so. Those are the strengths that we can choose to use, whereas the ones that, that's our freeway like the top 10 to 12 is our energizing strength when we use them we feel energized motivated inspired effective so it's the easy way and a very enjoyable way to go forward in life now 
out from the rough is those bunkers, those places where we land in the sand and we go, oh no, and we can't see out of it and the ball rolls back again if we try and get it out. So it's really hard work. And those are the bottom five to eight strengths in our full 34. So when we land in the bunker with a strength, it feels like it's hard work, it's draining, it's not easy for us. And it takes a lot of energy because those are the places where it doesn't, we haven't got the neural pathways that, that is easy for us to use. It's effort, it's a lot of thinking. Um, I know you talk about habits, you know, the more we develop habits, the easier it is for us to do because it's automatic. And it's very similar with our strengths. The automatic ones are the top 10 to 12. It's easy, comes naturally. The bottom five to eight, very hard work. It's draining. It's literally, we call them our draining strengths. And we, um, it's almost like we actively resist them. It's not easy to try and bring those bottom ones up to the top and neither do we have to, because I think in the next slide, I mentioned something that is, very interesting to me is that when we know our strengths and we know the strengths of the people around us this really comes to the fore that somebody else's biggest the biggest difference from me is their biggest service to me mm, nice. because there's this difference is exactly what helps us to function in teams what help what make us help each other. What I can do extremely easily is hard for somebody else. And what's hard for me, somebody else can help me with. And so if we complement each other in that way, um, life becomes very full of color. Mm. We don't have to be able to do everything well. We don't have to strive to be like the next person who does the, that thing well, like I have a lot of empathy that's natural for me and I don't get into action very easily because the action talent is right at the bottom. It's draining for me. So I um, invite a lot of people into my life with the action talent, the activator to help me get into action. And that's how life can get really, really colorful and we can support each other. I love that. That's great. And I think a last topic maybe to cover here is just to give people a little bit of insight of there are 34 talents or strengths and they are in these different talent clusters. So there's executing talents, influencing talents, relationship building talents and thinking talents. And there are about nine of these 34 talents in each of these groups. And so executing talents are the way that people get things done. So people with high execution talents, usually it's easy for them to execute in certain ways. They get things done. They can be consistent. They can plan and schedule. Um, they can, um, they, they finished what they started and so on. So those are the executing talents. And then we get the influencing talents. And those are the people that are great with um, help getting others to to do the work um, and we need those those are the leaders who can tell other people's like here's what I you know pub, people find it very easy to follow them and um, so things like for instance there's the activating talent if you've got the activator you can help other people to get into action very easily then the relationship building talents are the people who are just the glue that keep companies and um, uh, teams working together they they're great at getting the best out of each person uh, the, the people people of the world and empathy for instance is in that column so I have a lot of empathy harmony I love um, peace and harmony so I can create that in my environment and then the strategic thinking talents are all the, the people with the talents that expand the thinking of people as where conception happens a lot of thinking before action and so we all talented perhaps in one cluster more than another and some of us are, are very talented in all of them other people have more executing strengths they can do well but they don't work with people so well and and that kind of thing so I think that's just the brilliant thing is we don't all have to be good at everything and if we complement each other if we understand certain things about ourselves with these talent and strengths it's just so much easier for us to, to have compassion for what we're not great with and easier to understand the people around us and 
um, you know, we, don't, we, we can stop judging ourselves for not, or for, um, for instance, I stopped comparing myself with other people who do certain things very well. And, and now I know it, like, you know what, I don't have to be like that. I don't have to be a <laughs> kick-ass coach. I always thought I had to be a kick-ass coach like some of my friends. I'm not like that and I never will be. I love my talents now. And I think that's the one thing that this can do for us is it helps us to accept ourselves, um, our strengths and our weaker areas. It's not that we can't improve our weaker areas. We absolutely can, but they're draining and it takes much more effort to try and improve in those areas. So I think I talked a mile a minute. Um, mm, too no, many questions. No, this is fantastic. And so how do people discover their talents? How do people get the, get the analysis for, for themselves? That's a great question. So Gallup Strengths Finder, there's a, a, a website and I think it's called Gallup Strengths center.com and anybody can go onto there and uh, you can choose to buy your top five which I think at the moment is $19 and full 34 is 89 as far as I can remember or oh, it's 49 they brought the price down quite recently so it's $49 it's much more affordable than and it it's called it's officially called Clifton strengths yeah yes they used to call it Gallup and then uh, Donald Clifton was the father of this movement, and when he died a couple of years ago, they renamed oh. it to Clifton Strengths oh, Finder. I see. And do, is there a? Do you have some kind of um, link or code that we should use? Um, I don't have a particular link or code. No. So anybody can just go to that that um, mm -hmm. website mm -hmm. and go and do their their Strengths Finder. Um, you can start with top five if you want, and then upgrade later and just pay the difference because it's actually one assessment whether you do top five or full 34, they test all your strengths uh -huh. at the same time. Yeah. So if anybody has done the top five before and they want to upgrade, just remember your username and password, you can go in and upgrade to the, to the full one. Hmm. So, um, so yeah, one of the things I do is I love taking people through their top five and full 34 and helping them to understand in a very unique way what is it about them because mm -hmm. when I have say say I've got the achiever talent and you've got the achiever talent George we it won't show up us for us in exactly the same way because of our surrounding talents mm -hmm. because of everything else that you've got it kind of colors it in a different way to the color that I have on my achiever talent. And that's why this is so unique and fascinating and interesting and very empowering. Wow. So, uh, so you, the work you do with clients in terms of this is once they have the report, um, they send it to you and then you coach them on how to, well, you kind of coach them on the nuances of these things, but also how to express these things. That right? Yes, yes, you said it in such a great way. So we, we go through a process of awareness first, it's like what is each of these? Because I get a report, but it's sometimes a bit dry and boring to just read something and then yeah. people put it in the drawer. So I want them to understand it in the context of their own life, in the career that they currently have, maybe in careers they've had, in relationships. Um, and, it, and it just gives them this awesome picture of why certain things happen that way for them and and what to do with it and we each have the possibility to mismanage a strength in which case it becomes a detriment mm. or we can manage it well in which case it's really a strength so for instance i can ma mismanage my empathy and become like a bleeding heart and feel sorry for everybody and it's very draining and you know just like it doesn't work that well but if i apply it in a in a more productive way it can work wonders and that's possible for every single strength. We can mismanage them too. Oh, that's wonderful. So you really bring it alive. You, you, you bring color to, to this, this report and yes. help people to activate the, there's their strengths in a, in a, uh, a way that serves their, serves their goals and their visions and kind of helps them succeed. Yes. Yeah, yes, wonderful. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Great. So, well, is there anything else you want to share before we, uh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, I just wanted to share this quote and I may get a bit teary because I get teary every time I think about this quote. It's by Martha Graham. She was the mother of modern dance. So she was a ballet dancer and choreographer wow. that lived somewhere in the 1800s, 1900s. And she said, there is a vitality, a life force, a quickening that is translated through you 
into action. And there is only one of you in all time. This expression is unique and if you block it, it will never exist through any other medium and it will be lost. The world will not have it. And so that just, mm. you know, well. it, it touches me every time. So this work really helps us to really be that uniqueness and to remember that if we don't express ourselves in our unique way, it is lost to the world forever. Mm. Wow. Thank you for that. And, and, um, and the second part of this quote is about how it, it's funny that it is your business to keep it's your, not your business. It's yeah, right. It is right. It's not your business to, to compare, but it is your business to keep the channel open. Yes. Right. And, um, since so, so many of us are building businesses, that's uh, an authentic business is one where that vitality and life force is being channeled to us through, uh, uh, through us clearly. So thank you, Liesl. I hope that those watching this will find this, uh, who find this interesting, will go ahead and take the, the Gallup test or the Clifton Strengths test and then contact you. Uh, should they contact you first or should they take the test first? What's your recommendation? They're welcome to contact me first, George, and then I can help them discover what, you know, what's their purpose for knowing it. Mm. And then I can help them to decide whether they want to start with top five or they want to go to full city four oh, yeah. Great. right away or, mm. or so. So I have a, um, a coupon code that I, if they want to go on with a full uh, with a top five, there's a coupon code that I can provide them with, not for the oh, test okay. itself, but for the work with me to go oh. through the top five. So we can put okay. that in the in the links and the comments. And oh things. yeah, that'd be great for sure. I'll do that. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Liesl. Thank you, George. It was really a pleasure to speak with you, and thank you so much for this invitation. You're welcome, and I look forward to seeing if anybody. Um, chooses to do this work and i you know if you do please comment below and let us know how it went because uh, i i think this will be beneficial if you found this fascinating and you want to stop comparing yourself and gather that energy to channel it towards the vitality that and and the, and, the, and the pathway that is most meant for you that's most authentic for you i hope you do this work with Liesl. so thanks Liesl. thank you so much george